everybody. Welcome to what is going to be Remothered Tormented Fathers. My name is Ray's Brand. So, happy holidays. We're in the holiday season. Holiday season. whoop dee doo All that good stuff there. So, thought I'd go a little faster for today's video today. And also, we're starting a new game. And, of course... I thought this would be the perfect time to do it, as I say this sarcastically, but I chose a horror game to do during the holidays here. So that's fun. That's exciting. So I don't know anything about these games except that they look really good. They look really good. I just saw the trailers and these games were on sale and I was just like, okay, I'm going to give this a try and everything like such. And we're just going to go... We're gonna go from there. So uh, I'm just gonna just get started, go from there, see what this game's about. I don't know what I'm gonna be walking into, but this is the first game of the Remothered series. There is another one, um, Broken Porcelain, um, and all that such. Um, so there, this is his game series. So I will play, if this one does well for me, if I like the vibe of this one here, I will play Brooklyn Porcelain next. And then that's a lot. It's a lot of mechanics. So, is it all true? What is it? What have you heard already? That illness. It thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Uh, I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? I swear I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madame Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe that all this began. Okay, so didn't oh. oh, we're just gonna get right into it. Oh, okay. Very interesting. What does that have to do with what's going on? But we have a Madame Svetska, and it seems like that she was in Sweden for her a good chunk of her time. She must have had some sort of like, you know, memory loss or something of that sort. I'm trying to think of like the right one. I know it's not Alzheimer's. It may be. I don't know. But like, she must have had something where she can't process memory. 
I guess something just must have happened and she came back to Italy to remember whatever it is that she wants to remember here. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. I'm just, I'm an open book when it comes to these games. I'm an open book. I just want to see what is going to come. Just making sure my mic was on. Oh, cigarettes. Okay, fine. Let's not listen to the music. Rude. I was gonna say, that looks like Italian. Who is that? It's just very sudden. <laughs> it's like, ah, we're just enjoying a cigarette, just smoking away, everything and that such, and then ba -ba, ha -ha, the devil is here for the title sequence. Uh, I love it when things just come out of the blue like that, and it's just like, what the heck? It's gonna rain again. I reached the residence of Dr. Oh, wow, this is the gameplay? Wow. Oh my god. Alright, well, this is crazy. I cannot do it now. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Ah, that's how we run. Alright. Do we need to go... Dead a square? Uh, deadly... Uh, I can't even read that sign. Let me see. What's down here? Well, that's exciting. Wow, I can sprint. That's perfect. Hello! May I open thy gates? No? Alright, I guess I can't. That's fine. I'll just go this way. Ooh, what's this? Alright, cut here, cut there. Sears on screen, October 31st. That looks like that may be a foreshadow of something that may come after me. Someone may come after me with shears or something of that such or scissors or might want to cut me up and everything of that such cool all right you're breathing heavy can you not run a lot oh my gosh i know it's so crazy oh my god girl you're just walking why are you breathing so heavy i swear to god it's always a character in these horror games that feels like that has asthma every time that they run. And it's like, girly, if you have asthma, then why the fuck are you smoking? That's not good for your lungs. Alright. See, she's still panting. Like, Jesus. Alright. Missing since Thursday, October 14th, 1971. Last seen 4 p.m. at Recreation Ground and blah blah blue. Date of birth, February 8th, 1958. Female, white, 13 years. Light blonde hair, blue eyes. At last, blank, wearing a white dress with bows, white shoes, and trust hair. Blank blank are requested to call blank that's always fun all right well i'm gonna go this way and hopefully she'll get to pants some more because good lordy it's ridiculous Ooh, what's this ah uh, i always feel anxious while looking at some icons icons and mirrors okay Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? <sighs> so 
So why are you here? Are you just checking up on him? Just to see what he's up to? All right, reach the residence. Beautiful. Get inside the mansion and meet Dr. Felton. Ooh, perfect. All right, well, let's just go. Do 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 on inside before she pants herself to death. Oh my lordy. Oh wow. This is a lot of plants, sir. This is a lot of plants. See, she's already panting. It's ridiculous. Hello? Hello? The gate was open. Are you there? Hello? Is anyone there? Or not. Alright, well, let's just keep let's just keep running. With my arms in distress. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of plants, sir. It's a lot of plants. It's a lot of plants. What are you doing with all them plants? Let me see. If there's anything over here. Oh, a lawnmower! That's always fun. I'm gonna go through this hedge. See, she's panting herself to death. It's like, what the heck, lady? Oh my gosh, that dog sounds like my dog at home. Good lordy. Stop it. You're barking too much. You're just barking too much. See, it's just like, good lordy, girl. Relax. Yeah, you can't climb the ladder. Let's just go up here. It's like I'm in a garden center. Not a home. More like a garden center at this place. Alright, let's see. Back to the cigarette smoking. Okay, honey. Enjoy asthma. Merry Christmas. Yes. Good evening, Miss I am... Reed. You already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Center of the I Institute. Know. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents. I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's pathology. Oh, no, please. I I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Fountain hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. It's okay. It's all good, all peachy, everything is fine. We'll be okay. Everything will be hunky dory. Everything will be just fine. I will go see Mr. Felton and everything and that such. Everything will be just fine. Please, this way. Alrighty, this is very slow walking. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time. It's what's gonna get you asthma, girly? So much to do every day. I your lungs are gonna hate you. With such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. Hmm. Over and over, eh? This is just very slow walking. I would not be walking this fast. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. I would have a little bit more decency with, like, picking up speed and everything.
This way, please. And Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. Interesting. Am I just going to explore around his room here? The coronation of a virgin. The young girl gazes into the sky above with stunned eyes and a light hits her. But something is out of place. From the dark sky that threatens storm are descending the hideous hands of stranger creatures. This picture makes me feel uncomfortable. Of course it makes you feel uncomfortable. There's like something demonic coming after her. That's not good. Again, that's foreshadowing. Something may be coming after us in this household. Or should I say this garden center? You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, his house is a garden center. It's insane with how much plants he has. I'm just browsing. I'm seeing what's over here. No? Okay. Well, clearly, that's rude. Cannot sprint. That's rude. You're rude. Whatever. I'm just going to continue to browse. And look at some books. That old movie playing machine. Let's see over here. Is that his de oh, there's something at his desk. Let me investigate. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm. Rosogallo closes. Danger of contamination. Wyman and the Feltons indicated for alleged crime, criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October 2nd, 1971, the Rossogallo farm, Pride of the Gallos, closed due to suspected contamination. It has been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be the cause of severe parasitosis. Parasitosis, like parasites. Infecting the such and everything. The owner, Ariana Gallo, her husband, the notary Richard Felton, professor, and company's partner, Albert Elias Wyman, are under investigation. The latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments, taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from the residents of the company's headquarters, the Ashmans, who managed the building and supervised the harvesters, the sisters of the adjoining co convent. Among the reported symptoms, painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation of parasites, and in some cases, keratosis photosensitivity. Felton's and Ashman's received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the Order of Physicians today. Wyman stated he was shocked by the charges and pointed his finger to his former business partner, Richard Felton. He personally funded me. It was worth noticing that Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Fincenial project. I guess that's how you say that. I guess I don't know English. A drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious medicine award in 1957, but that was retired from the market a few years later due to disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even at Felton's house, which was used as location for product distribution, the activity ceases. As a result of the scandal, the Ashmans and Feltons also broke off any kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claimed a substantial refund for the damage they suffered because even their children have been infected and, as a consequence, used as unaware test subjects. Well, that's rude. The authorities assume that the contamination has developed from the groundwater, not only used for the irrigation of nearby plantations, but also as a common source for the Ashmans and the Twelve Sisters of the nearby monastery. And there's another side here. You damn son of a bitch. See what they write about me in the news? You wanted to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will. Starting with your daughter. Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure you would be glad to know that she is his daughter. Show, you, show you've show you got balls. Take your own responsibility. What am I saying? Balls? You ain't never got balls. <coughs> Jesus. That kind of got me a little, excuse me, a little tickle in my throat. Ha! Huh. Okay. I'll just put that down. Do you 
believe in God, miss? Well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or a mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. Is this Richard Felton? I assume Dr. it is. Reed, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues to go I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria, yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No, thank you. As you wish. How about you, <coughs> Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes, indicatively. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates? Anoxone? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs Without any prescription. Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gallo. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with- Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No. My Mr. Daughter. Felton, what has really happened to your daughter? I just told you. How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate I don't have the strength for this now. I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to. Hammer! What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question. Back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... Do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife, then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. Do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. 
The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Interesting. So there's a young girl, Celeste, that's who we saw on the wanted posters, but her actual name, it seems like, is Jennifer. Dr. Reed here isn't someone I feel like who works for like a psych psychological department. More like she's like an FBI like agent or something like that, and she's looking to solve the case about what happened to this daughter. But Gloria seems to be hiding something. Not smart to keep the key behind that. Just saying. Guess we're breaking in and entering. Well, not really. We got the key, so it's really not breaking in, but like. She's breaking in. <laughs> Damn, those are some heels, girly. Those are some heels to be running away from things in. Mm. I like the music in the background. Would you like to save? Why are you asking me this? Why? What the, what, what, why? 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 Look for the mirrors with the metronome. From now on, you can save your game only by using the. Oh. I see. All right. Flashlight. Some areas of Felton Mansion are really dark. It may be difficult to find your bearings. Press the flashlight switch to light up your way. But remember to turn off if you do not want to stick out. Okay. <coughs> All right. So, Dr. Fountain, eh? Cool. Diversions. All right, diversions on item quick select. Diversion items are used to slow down and distract an enemy. You can take up to a maximum of three. Once you have picked up a diversion item, you can equip it from the inventory or via quick selection. There are two different types of diversions. Throwables, you can aim and throw. Okay, placeables, you can place it on the ground. Ah, oh, interesting. All righty, cool. <laughs> Okay. Ah, that's Crouch. Okay, good. I'm just gonna be exploring the- Oh, defense! Thanks to defense items, you can hit your enemy if he has reached you and stopped you. When your opponent is about to kill you, you can use a defense item by following the instructions on the screen. A defense item can be used just once, and you can only bring one at a time. If you don't have any defense items with you, you won't be able to escape from your enemy's deadly grip. Oh, jo oh, goody! Thank God I have a knife now. I have a knife! Oh, I have a knife. Oh, it's beautiful. Just don't tell my mommy. Alright, let's just keep a look around. See if there's any, uh... So, sprints this button. Got it. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't really run a lot. Oh. Ah. Okay, so if I need to hide, I can hide under there. Cool. Alrighty. <coughs> Alright, let's see what this is. This is a power generator. Better not to turn off the light. Yeah, that's a s smart idea. Let's not turn off the lights.
You picked up a defense item. Oh, I'm amazing. I'm just amazing. Oh, wait, I can only carry one at a time, right? Yeah, so. Probably best to, like, just shut that. Just so it looks like I was never here. Let's see. Ooh. <coughs> Just seeing if there's anything in these cabinets. Let me just see real quick. Oh, diversion item. Whoopity doo. Nice. Alright, I'm just seeing if there's any else on this first floor another diversion item perfect I am all socked up. oh if I want to hide in the cabinet good good always good to go hide in cabinets okay another defense item okay there's a lot of knives just roaming around I guess Just a lot of knives. Alrighty. Perfect. I'm not gonna call the elevator, because that would just be horrible. Alright, I'm just gonna take it nice and slow. I'm just seeing if there's anything to read. It doesn't seem like that there's much to read. I want to follow the music, because that's where the wife is. Right? I'm assuming that's what I want. Upgrade my defense. I upgrades. An upgrade allows you to improve a feature of the currently equipped defense object. You can only have one upgrade at a time. Two types of upgrade. Damage and durability. Defense items can be used twice. So upgrade with a wire spool. Stun the enemy for more time. Uh, let's see. Cool. So now my defense items are even stronger. Perfect. Alright. Where is this music coming from? Let's figure this out. Such pretty music, not gonna lie. Alright, I'm gonna just say there's probably nothing but this music. Oh my god, it's so loud! Cool, alright, and that's the flashlight. God, that music was so loud! Just investigate what it's like.
You better hide, honey. You better hide. Alright, we're gonna hide real quick. Like, yikes. My dear, the record player got jammed again, right? Yes, I know you. Why are you naked you under that apron? To buy the new gadgets on the market. Promise, promise, promise. How can I say no to you? Now get some rest, love. My little Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh. Oh. oh, that's not creepy. That's not creepy at all. Oh, that's not, that's not, that's not creepy at all, you know? I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to talk to my dead wife that's got a bunch of flies on her. All right, stalkers. There's a stalker in this area. You can decide if you want to bypass him, distract him, or face him. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Alright, so I can crouch and then remember to not make any noise, otherwise he will put on your tracks. Avoid running or use the crouch button to move silently. In case the soccer gets too close to you, press the dodge button to avoid his attack if you still have enough breath. Oh, did turn off. Try to escape the mansion. Okay, okay. Um, remind myself. Where do I need to go? Do I need to go in here? Alright, so, someone might be looking behind the door. Before you go, you can peek to see if there is an enemy on the other side. Approach it silently with the crouch button and press open door. Uh, instead of your chase, press the hold door button while you, when you are in front of a closed door. And this way, you can stop your enemy coming in. Ah, I see. You know what? Fuck it. If he finds me, he finds me. All right, let's just see. Do 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 do. Okay, looks like he's flying away. Gotta get out of the mansion, so yeah, just in case, just just in case. Do da do da. Dun, 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 dun. I think I got a loop around that way. Yeah, I'll escape the mansion and then we'll call it a day. How about that? How's that sound? Do 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 da do da. Okay, nice and easy. See, there's stairs. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I don't like the noises the the instruments are making, especially the timpani. I don't like that. Okay. I seem to be fine. My door is right there. <laughs> See you. you really think you'll get away with this? Bitch! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! No! I'll make you swallow your own tongue. Oh! Get me out! Get me out! Oh! This is not a place for tourists. Find an alternative way. Oh no! Ah! No! 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 Creepy man coming to get me! Alright, well I'm gonna go down your basement, bitch. Yeet. Ouchie! Ouchie! 
Ouchie! Ouchie! Ew! You have a butthole! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You! You're not that scary! Uh oh! Yay! I stabbed you with scissors in your butthole! Ooh! Bye me! Noink. No. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, this is fun. All right, well. You are not allowed to stay here. Well, you are rude. Oh, I must say. Is there another weapon? Is there another weapon? I know, honey. I know, honey. I know, I know. There's nothing left to, to eat. I, it's all molded. <laughs> It's all molded. All right. Well, kind of stabbed me a good one. That's not nice. I'm so tired of all of this. There he is. I right, go back that way. You have a butt, sir. That is a butt. As a butt. And I am injured. How am I supposed to heal myself? Is there going to be ways that I can craft healing items? And everything of that such? Oh, uh, I could have hid under the couch. Yeah, that's probably smart. Okay. He can't get me in here. There's no way. I know, honey. Alright, so I gotta figure out a way out of this mansion. I know, I know, sweetheart. I know, I know. We're gonna get you out of here. We're gonna get out. Fuck it. Alright, hold on. Find whatever you need to activate the stairs controller in the basement. All right. I know. What have I done to you? Oh, I know. What have I done to you? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? We're going to have to continue this in the next episode because, oh, my goodness. This is kind of, this is actually kind of fun. You know, me running away from a naked dude with one of those, like, hey, Buell, you know, things. I don't know what they're called, but they're one of those things and everything and that such. So, yeah. So, I will continue this in the next episode. We'll find a way to make these stairs work, and then we will basically go from there and see what happens after this. So, got some backstory in this. Which is good. Now we'll see what happens next. So, thank you so much for watching what is going to be Remothered Tormented Fathers. Please feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Feel free to ring those bells. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And episodes will definitely be shorter than this one, for sure, for sure, for sure. I just wanted to make sure that I got a lot out of this in this first episode. Just to kind of get all of the backstory and everything as out of the way and then go from there so with that being said as for right now this has been razor Rand. thank you so much once again for watching this episode of remother tormented fathers happy holidays please be safe as you are celebrating with friends and family and i shall see you in the next video